Are, are the people that are incapable of reasoning, do they know they can't reason? Uh, I think some, I, I some think, do, I think some what, do and some they don't. Have inside okay, how, do you know how, how do you know that you're not one of the people <clears throat> uh, who can't reason and don't know it? Because, because I, you wouldn't I know. You wouldn't know. How do you know? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know any more because, than that. I wouldn't know that any more than I. I'm in a. I'm in a science. I'm, here, in, a, I'm in a medical-based career, yeah. treating patients every day with evidence-based medicine, and my patients are getting better, being cured by evidence-based medicine. So what I'm saying is, every single day that I practice my life is is more. Uh, it shows me more that I'm living a reasonable you, life. I want to show, doing you're, reasonable you're, things. You're using your own experiences, your own reason. That was what you asked yeah. me. You said, yeah. how would I know if I couldn't reason? Your own reason. Your own reason. Okay, here's the thing. What, what I'm showing you is how your argument is circular. Because oh, you're using... circular. Because, listen, listen. You're using your reason to determine that you're capable of reason. I'm also, I'm also just saying, as reason. my patient, you would say the yeah. same thing. All the people in the whole entire community have just mm -hmm. made these definitions According see to the reason. same thing. According to your eyesight, you're here. I'm saying if society thinking. is the one that comes, if we agree that society comes together to determine definitions of, re, of people who are able to reason, then yes, the rest of society determines that I am able to reason. But you That's how I'm able to reason. I'm not using it. my personal. You haven't proven that society system. exists outside your own reason yet. Oh, uh, what, the, the, uh, the point of reason is not to say you're right or wrong. It's to to discuss with people and and keep an open mind and and make this a is what, educated. This is what reason isn't. When someone says, "What if you're wrong? How would that change your life?" and the person says, "I can't be wrong." Period. That's not reasonable. Well, no. I or could logic. you be wrong that two plus two doesn't equal that e equals four? Could you be wrong? Could I be wrong that two plus two equals four? Yeah. Could you be wrong about that? It, it, it's, as, it's, as defined that in our society as as the, the mathematical structure that human beings have come together and created, two plus two equals four. Could in another civilization with a different I'm not talking about two I'm, plus two not equal four possibly. I'm not talking about terminology. Terminology. It I'm talking like about but that's what two plus two, two is. is Anytime you bring numbers in, but you see what you just what did. Is. You just said I can't believe you would say you can't be wrong, and now here you're saying no, I can't be wrong. Two plus two equals four. I, I, I explicitly said that if you're talking about the structure of mathematics in our society, then two plus two is four, and everybody knows that. And so I'm not saying that I couldn't be wrong. I'm not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that. Do you no, not? Do you, is that, do you are think you, two plus two does not equal four? No, I'm just saying, use your own logic. You just said it's unreasonable for me to say I can't be wrong, uh, it, and now you're saying you can't be wrong. You're, what, you're not, what you're talking about is not a socially constructed norm. We don't well, math isn't a socially exists. constructed norm, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's impossible. So two plus two didn't equal four before we invented it. We had to invent it the did, concept actually. of yeah, math before. Math, we weren't smart yeah, enough to actually realize it. Probably. We, we probably had two bones, and we said, what's the best way to describe? Two bones plus another two bones. So before mankind was here, when monkeys were here, there was no such thing as two plus two, two bones and two bones didn't equal. is universal and, and But you just said we time. made it but up. It takes so, civilizations it, to discover it, and it organize it and then find ways to manipulate it through division, multiplication. It's a right? means of communication. So it's universal. By humans. It, it so is. what? What's your okay. point? It it's also true. immaterial, right? It's How not made out of matter. things that are millions of light years away through the same principles that are universal. Yeah, it's universal. Mathematics is a means of communication. What I'm saying is that and you really it's kind of, all I'm saying though is if I'm yeah, so you, what's your point? you know, with anything is you really have to evaluate these questions. You really you really shouldn't be copping out and saying I, I can't be wrong. You need to really think about you it. You just said you couldn't be wrong. Just just don't go to me. Didn't he just say you couldn't be wrong? I'm responding to your question for a second and saying can you please come say something? So Something what? else other than I can't be wrong. Well, then what I'd if be... you could be, okay? Let's just say for one second you could be wrong. What if you're wrong? Just why, why is it so hard for you to explain that? I already told you that's my my premise. It's because you haven't even thought about it. It's, it's oh, I thought about it a lot. You yeah. even think that there could not be a God. It's so ingrained in you. And I and I gave you a logical, a very easy logical yeah, understanding of that. That you're saying I'm not going to accept that. What if your assumption is wrong that God didn't create your ability to think? That's just not true. Your ability to think came from evolving over millions of years after a chemical process occurred in a prebiotic soup. Then Let's we just say that that's true. Then we wouldn't know anything. If but that was true, we do know why anything, it, and that's what why happened. Why wouldn't we know anything? But we do know something, and we know the process by which that happened, and we know the process by which we understand how that happened. But we don't know that because why for we all, know that? for all, if we were you to say that we don't know it, I okay. mean, you, since. What if we if we went if we went an expert on 
sure, getting I, to determine. I think everybody would know that. I mean, if we went on that basis, I mean, you could use the Doug Wilson argument. What's going on in your brain right now is just chemical reactions, right? Yeah, but I mean, Neurons so what? Yeah. Have you so, ever seen a brain? So, yeah. Have you ever seen a real brain? Yeah. So why Very would, would it make sense to call one chemical reaction true and one chemical reaction false? What do you mean? What's really a, what, that sense. does means absolutely nothing. I mean, you're well. You you're just said no. If I took to a, a bottle of coke, just give us a main I, point. Like, yeah, what are you trying yeah. to say? You're trying if to I say, I you're took a, trying to say that you're not wrong. Chemical reaction. No, what, I'm saying if I took a bottle of coke and a bottle of Mountain Dew, shook them up, opened them up, and they both fizzed, would it make sense to call the coke f uh, true and the Mountain Dew false? I think if we talk anymore, we're really just giving so you more opportunity to think that you're. Well, they're just they're just they're just chemical reactions, right? Yeah. So well, you just said that everything going on in your brain is chemical reaction. Yeah, so, 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 so. Join Eric Hoven and Paul Tater from Creation Today with special guest Ken Ham from Answers in Genesis, along with Carl Kirby of Reasons for Hope, Mark Spence of Living Waters, and Cy Ten Bruggenkate of Proof That God Exists for the Proof of God Conference in Orlando, Florida, October 12th through 13th. For more information, visit us online at proofconference.com or call toll-free 877-479-3466.